Before we start, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. And work on parallel projection. Click this drop down arrow and select parallel. Now start uh, changing the direction of the Z axis vector. So inside the coordinates panel, click Z axis vector, click anywhere on the screen and change it to this direction. Just follow the green dash line and click and turn off the grid. Now I'm going to start from this point. By the way, I'm going to use primitive solids in this tutorial and you can find it inside the modeling panel. Click this drop down arrow and you can find it here or go to solid. Click this drop down arrow. You can find it here and the rest are here. From this point, I'm going to use cone. So click this drop down arrow and select cone. Click anywhere on the screen. Right click and select diameter and enter 2.5. Bring your cursor forward, right click, and select top radius and enter 1.65. And the height is 0.4 as shown here, so enter 0.4. Alright. And the next one, I'm going to use cylinder. So you can either go to the ribbon, which is this one, or just type in CYL. Click the center, snap the quadrant, and bring your cursor forward or to that direction for 5.05 .05 and enter. The next one is also a cone. So C O N E. Snap the center, right click and select diameter option, and enter. 4.02 right click again and select top radius and enter 2.15 which is this one here and the height is 1.43 and enter the next one which is this one here is a cylinder so CYL snap the center Snap the quadrant, move your cursor forward, and enter 1.43. And the next one, there's this one here, is a cone. So C O N E, snap the center, snap the quadrant. Bring your cursor forward, right click and select top radius and enter 2.25 and the thickness is, um, okay wait, where is the thickness here, 0.1. So you can just edit this one, just double click and change the height to 0.1. Enter and press escape. Now bring this drawing to front view to create this one here and um, draw a line so shift right click select center snap the center move your cursor upward and enter so this is the height so 5.66 divided by 2 2.83 and the distance from this point to this point as given here the diameter is uh, 1 so 
the distance is 1 so O for offset enter and enter 1 so offset this line draw a line from in point to in point and draw a circle so C for circle right click to enter specify center point of circle so shift right click and select mid between two points so click this in point and this in point now we're snapping the center and then um click the in point now trim so tr for trim command enter twice and just click this one now join the segments by typing j for join command right click to enter and just window the whole thing now this is one object now i'm gonna revolve this one so you can either type in rev or go to modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select revolve click the object right click enter and specify axis of revolution so just click this in point to that direction or to the center and enter zero or 360 degrees to complete the revolution now i'm going to create another cylinder from the center so cyl snap the center you can see that blue color snap that and uh, right click and select diameter and the diameter is 3.8 and uh, the thickness is uh, 4.5 and enter so cone again snap the center snap the quadrant right click and select top radius and enter 1.65 and the height is 1.2 all right and the next one is also a cylinder so cyl snap the center snap the quadrant move your cursor to your right and enter 14.32 and then another cylinder snap the center snap the quadrant and um, the height is 9.25 enter and uh, create a cone so c-o-n-e snap the center snap the quadrant Move your cursor to your right, right click and select top radius and enter 1.4, enter, and the height is, alright, 0.5. So I'm just going to double click this one to edit and change the number of height to 0.5, enter, and press escape. Now I'm going to measure the height of this object. So the total measurement is 39.18. So type DI from the center to the center here, 39.18. So we're okay. All right. So and the next thing to draw is this one here that we are going to attach as shown here. So bring your drawing to right view. So I'm going to create this circle here, this one. And the diameter is 3.3. So C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option. Enter. And enter 3.3. Now I'm going to create this triangle. I'm going to create a line from the quadrant and the distance is 0.2 so L for line snap the quadrant and enter 0.2 
inter another line so this one is the angle here is 90 degrees so the angle of the sides are 45 degrees because the total angle of a triangle is 180 degrees so L for line in point move your cursor to your right below the x-axis and um, press the tab key do not enter tab and enter minus 45 degrees and just press enter type tr for trim command enter twice and just remove this one now just mirror this line so mi for mirror command and hit this uh, line specify first point of mirror line click that in point move your cursor downward as long as it's straight click anywhere here and select no now i'm gonna trim so tr for trim command enter twice remove this one and just delete that now i'm gonna recreate the circle so c for circle hover over the side and you can see that plus sign at the bottom here that appeared just snap that and snap the input now i'm gonna use array and the number of um, triangle here is 24 so type in array polar select the object oh first i'm gonna join the segment so type j for join command right click to enter and just window the whole thing now this is one object so array and select array polar click this one specify center point of array which is the center of the circle snap that and go to the ribbon and change the number of items to 24 enter and enter again to accept all right now i'm gonna extrude this one so select the object go to modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select extrude and the distance is wait from this point to this point is 1.75 so type ext for extrude command window the objects enter and enter 1.75 which is the thickness and then union the object so inside the solid edi editing panel select union command or you can just type in u in i and window the whole thing now this is one object I'm going to attach this one. I should change this to wireframe. It would be easier. Select this one. Move. Specify center. And shift right click and select center. Hover over this side here. Snap. Or change this to X-ray maybe bring this to front view move this one as you know the distance from this corner to this corner is 0.5 so i'm just gonna move this to 0.5 move click anywhere as base point and enter 0.5 all right and the next one is from this point to this point is 2.5 copy selection shift right click snap the center and move it for 2.5 copy this one okay center there see that blue color and uh, snap the second one For this one here, the thickness is 1.25. So what I'm going to do is copy this one and bring your drawing to front view. Go to solid. Slice this object. I'm going to draw a line first from center. Move your cursor to the right for 1.25 which is the thickness 
and move your cursor upward and just follow the green dash line click this is gonna be my guide to slice so go to solid select slice inside the solid editing panel click the object you want to slice right click enter and specify start point of slicing plane so click this one in point bring your cursor downward click anywhere here as long as it's straight click and specify a point of desired side so click this side here or this side here you go and then i'm just gonna attach this one move snap the center snap it to the center of this uh, the end of the cylinder all right now union the whole thing to make this into one object so go to home or just type in u in i for union command and just window the whole thing now this is one object i'm just gonna delete that and uh, apply fillet here and change this to shaded with edges so go to solid select fillet edge right click and select radius option and enter 0.5 which is this one here so just click this edge right click to enter and enter again to accept i think we're done let me check i'm gonna change this to realistic i'm gonna check my model all right so i'm gonna apply material so minimize this one maximize this one so type in materials and uh, i'm just gonna select um, hon dark gray so click the arrow to bring it up here select the object right click here and select assign to selection and go to visualize click this drop down arrow adjust exposure setting and you can also maybe adjust the color here and you can also um, click this pencil icon and click image and select the sample size i'm gonna make it smaller so i'm gonna change it to four maybe let me check and uh, the brightness i could adjust that and uh, glossiness and i think i'm done so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified for the next tutorial.